What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a lot to share with you guys. As you can see, we're in the coffee stand right now and I look like a complete mess because I am a complete mess. Um, I had to pick up my camera and share this with you guys. I am currently moving everything out of my coffee stand and I have a lot to explain and I'll do that later, but I just wanted to kind of document this process and um, yeah, business is kind of crazy. As you guys can see, my whole entire coffee stand, and there's so many videos on me purchasing this coffee stand. If you are not aware that I own a coffee stand, I bought the coffee stand about six to seven months ago, and we've been open for around six months. It's literally been a dream of mine, and I've just been enjoying the whole entire process. And not saying I won't learn from this, because there is a lot to take away and I want more coffee stands in the future so it's just a learning experience and it's kind of shitty that it happened right after we opened. Long story short, we hired a guy to fix our ice machine. He fixed the ice machine and ended up putting a new hard water filter on the ice machine, one that goes to the ice machine so it wouldn't build up with hard water and uh, scale up and stuff like that. That was about a week ago. Overnight, around 11 p.m., the, the water hose that is connected to the water filter under that pressure flew off and that's what you guys see in that video of it's right next to the filter just the water spraying everywhere I got a hold of the guy let him know what happened and yeah so that's that's pretty much how that happened it wasn't a pipe bursting it wasn't like the water was left on it was just that filter that wasn't connected properly um, that made the whole entire stand flood so when I got to the stand my security cameras don't do it justice Every single thing in the stand was submerged in water. The register, the iPads, the electrical outlets. I electrocuted myself <laughs> that morning. It was a very, very stressful day and I just was at the stand and it's just, it's just a lot of stress, but it's nothing I can't handle and it is life. Things are going to happen. I talked to insurance. I called I called an inspector to just make sure I could open back up because I was I got everything cleaned I was ready to open they came out that same day they were amazing they came out checked the walls and the floor with some type of meter that reads if beyond the outside of the walls if the interior is soaking wet they told me that everything was soaked and my walls are starting to bubble the flooring has water gushing out of the t the tile flooring. Um, it's just a huge mess, and they told me you need to get everything replaced: new flooring, new walls, new machine. The machines that were all destroyed, um, you need new everything. So they they gave me a timeline of a month to two months of closing down, which that's the shitty part because I was open to just like buying new. Um, reg a new register, a new, all that stuff. That, that stuff could all be replaced, but the fact that my employees will not have a job for a month to two months, along with my customers that we've made amazing relationships with, I won't be seeing for that long. It's just a lot to take in. We're in the process of insurance and going through all that fun stuff. That seems like a foreign language to me. They told me that I need to get everything out of the stand. Obviously that's touching the ground so they can replace the flooring. And we have a lot of equipment in that stand. And it seems like we just got done putting everything in the stand. If you guys remember when we painted everything, cleaned everything, literally gutted the whole entire stand. Now all of that's got to come back out. Within the next week, I think we're going to be getting that all, that all done. I actually was just at the stand this morning and I had inspectors come out to come and look at the stand. Again, just to like insurance and all that good stuff is just trying to figure out everything. And they told me that they can most likely get the flooring torn up and the process going starting tomorrow. So that's, it's all happening a lot sooner than I thought, which is good because I hate, I hate having the stand shut down. So I'm actually headed to the stand now. I grabbed a few boxes. 
really want it to happen this in this type of way. But um, I'm gonna grab some gas. Let's do this and let's go clear out the coffee stand. Five hours later. I know it doesn't look like much has been taken out, but both those uh, shelves have been emptied because they are gonna be replacing, sorry, it's super loud in here. They are gonna be replacing the walls from here down along with, from here down, and then the window seals as well. The dry sheet in here all has to be replaced. As you can see, we have extensive damage under here and damage in here. Um, yeah. And then everything off the shelf, everything has been moved off of this shelf and a lot is in Devin's truck right now. So I'm just waiting for Jamie to get here because I ran out of space in Devin's truck. So she's gonna grab the rest of this stuff. And then tomorrow I'm gonna have the guys, uh, Devin, Jared, and Devin's other employee, Trey, come and get the big stuff out. So they're gonna grab the table, the ice machine, the sink, the fridge, the machine, and all the big stuff, which is a pain in, a pain in the ass. You know what? This is crazy shit. This is what it looks like compared to a few days ago. We have Jamie taking down some more things, but shelves are removed. Fridge cannot fit outside of this place because they built this extension. And with this uh, wall being so narrow, there's no way to get the ice machine out. So that's staying. Espresso machine is actually being sold. This guy right here. I purchased a new one uh, probably like three months ago. So that one will be in when the stand is back up and running. All the countertops are coming down, but those are gonna be removed when they do the demolition. And back here, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff too. We're just waiting on some boxes um, and then we'll get going on the rest of the stuff. I know this video is a lot of talking. Um, I feel like I'm trying to get things done so fast that I haven't even been thinking about picking up my camera, but I do want to give you guys an overview on what is going on. Today for me has been a little bit more frustrating just because I haven't heard back from insurance. In the state, I believe the state of Washington, if you're gonna tear into drywall, you have to test for asbestos no matter what. So that has to be done. Uh, my building's not that old to where they use that material, but it's just something that has to be done. I haven't heard anything on that, which is also kind of frustrating. And then contractors are coming to give me an estimate on Monday, and it is right now Tuesday. So I have another week for that to take place. And demolition cannot happen until the asbestos comes back. Today was just a day for me to get everything out of the stand, but I just start to get kind of get anxiety when nothing really is progressing, it seems like. Right now we're headed to my my sister's coffee stand that she works at. Uh, not this sister, it's my other sister, Nikki. She works at Highway Grind, which I used to work at a really long time ago, but it is her last day there, so we're bringing her flowers and some candy. Show them the balloon. And, oh yeah, a sloth balloon. Oh. Jamie's idea. And then we're gonna head to the coffee stand because they ended up tearing down the walls yesterday and then they're doing the flooring today. So I want to beat the workers there. So hopefully we can, you know, make this fast. And I wanna show you guys the process in the coffee stand because it is insane. Happy yeah. last day! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, we Coming just, to see you. That's it. No, you don't work today? Nuh uh. My, my coffee stand is closed oh, down. No. We don't work for this whole goddamn month. It's okay, honey bun. Did you say goddamn month? <laughs> yeah. Goddamn month. Goddamn month. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Right. We just made it to the stand. And, oh, it's so sad because there's so many people coming through the stand and it's closed. And it breaks my heart. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now in here. There's a lot of fans going still, so I'm going to have to talk kind of loud, but... This is the first time I've seen the stand in person look the way it does. So, flooring is completely torn out. The walls are torn out. Um, there's no countertops anymore. So yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of what it's looking like. They are, so then I'm back here in the small room and they are gonna tear out these floorings too. And then I'm also, getting rid of this 
thing because it's like turned really awkwardly. Nobody can use this cupboard, so they're gonna get rid of that too. But I pretty much just had one guy come and do the estimate and then I'm having one other person come and give me another estimate. And then after that, we will get started on everything. Pretty exciting stuff. It's all happening really fast, which is just what I wanted. I'm hoping to be open by May 1st. That's the big, that's the goal. Okay, so I know this video is like really weirdly put together. It's like a bunch of, it's like a time frame of like a month. Um, the last few days I haven't picked up my camera just because I have been extremely stressed out with, um, honestly just overthinking the whole thing and like having my business shut down and just kind of feeling down on the dumps about it and I know that does not help anything and so I get really irritated with myself when I get upset like that so I got really good news this morning I got a phone call from the construction company that is going to be doing the rebuild on my stand and they said they don't usually get things rolling this fast but they said they would be able to start working on my stand today and so they told me to be to the stand in like an hour and that's exactly what I did I jumped out of the shower and headed straight to the stand and I just got done talking with them and they said they're gonna start today with the wall rebuild so they're gonna get some dry sh dry drywall up they're gonna get some sheetrock up there we go sheetrock up today and start working on the stand we started going through all the details and I need to pick out tile for the stand. I need to pick out countertops for the stand, which I'm gonna take you guys with me. I might be doing it by myself because Devin is very busy today. And then my little sister, Jamie, who would usually help me with this kind of stuff is out of town. I'm excited though, you guys, this is happening all so fast. I am hoping, hoping and praying that within about a week and a half, we'll be up and running again. That's the goal. We just pulled up to Lowe's and Jamie and her friend Sydney haven't left yet. So I'm dragging them to help me pick out some stuff. Are y'all excited? Ooh, so excited. <laughs> Pretty much what I think is happening is I pick out what I want and then the contractor will order it in for me. So let's go see what kind of options there are. This white, that's pretty. So we're looking at these to go in the window seals where we serve coffee. Lots of good options here. I found LVP flooring, which is kind of what my contractor was saying to do. So we're gonna head, these are just like little sample packs. We're gonna look at the tile flooring and see if that's something I would wanna do, which is obviously more durable, but there's just a lot of options. I think I kind of explained this in the store, but I'm gonna go, I think, with the LVP flooring. I don't know. What color do you guys think? black or light gray they like the light gray one i might do tile flooring too but i'm gonna ask my contractor about pricing because at lowe's it said it was a lot cheaper to do tile and this is more expensive but tile's supposed to be better so it's confusing me but we're getting there you guys anything you want to say jane or sydney <laughs> <laughs> i think that we should personally go with the tile more durable okay what i think we you? should do half and half i like both I had to stop by the stand. I love how Gary's in the background, but I had to stop by the stand and check it out because the last time we were in here, they were getting everything, all the flooring removed in the back. So this is what it looks like. Here's a quick update on the inside. So the floor is completely out. Like in there, that cabinet that was right there obviously is gone. I cannot wait to paint that. But yeah, everything is completely out. Um, walls are up. Now the mud and the spackle and stuff needs to go on there, but flavors are all off the shelves because they're gonna take the shelves down. Um, this countertop still needs to come out because it's going in the garbage, but yeah, that is an update for today. All right, it's a few days later and I was hoping there was gonna be more progress on the stand, but there has not been at all. I'm standing in the stand now and it looks like it did about a week ago tomorrow. They're gonna come in and get started with the, I think they called it like hot mud for the walls and with paint and all that stuff. But I'm gonna actually end this video out here because I want to get this update out to you guys so you guys know what's going on. So just for example, this is what it looks like right now. We have a big box in here now. This is a new fridge that I got for the stand a while ago. So that just came in the mail and then, yeah. So it's just the same as what it looked looked like before. This has been a long 
process. I'm definitely learning a ton from all of this. But if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any, I don't know, recommendations, then let me know. I appreciate you guys supporting me and I apologize. I have been so distant on social media. Literally all my time has been here at the stand and just trying to get all of this fixed. It's a big mess right now, as you guys can see. Anyways, you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Hopefully in the next video, we'll have a lot more updates to bring you guys, but I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.